In this short video today I'm going to demonstrate how you swap the integral visor in the terrain or Manta helmet when it needs replacing because they do scratch and they're made of polycarbonate which although it's incredibly tough is not really very scratch resistant so they do need to be replaced from time to time. So way to start, put your helmet down this way up, upside down um, grab the tabs on the visor and normally you'd pull it to sort of that position maybe to cover your eyes you just keep pulling and eventually it pretty much just flies out it doesn't take too much force but you know, don't don't worry about breaking it, they're very strong. Now take your new visor and if you look on the inside of the helmet, I'm not sure what the configuration will be on yours but this is quite an old one like I say so it's just got a flat pad in there and you can see the two holes here which are there purely so you can see two pegs situated on the inside of the shell that line up the visor. So what you want to do is um, put your visor in and line up these slots here with the two pins. The easiest way to do, to be honest you, you don't even need to look at the pins on the inside, you can do this by lining up the legs on the end with uh, where the cutout starts on the shell which is how I normally do it so take the visor feed it in the gap at the front like so and then like I say get these legs so that they're, they're equal about the inside of the shell there's a, there's a bit of leeway there, so you know, don't worry about it too much. Keep the legs on the inside of the chin strap and keep pushing it down, and eventually you'll hit those two pins, and the visor should just push in from here. But the, what I tend to do is pull the shell using the chin strap away from the liner on the inside and put the legs underneath let's see if we can get a better shot of that there are two rivets in there, they're just like little pins that stick through and those little legs have to go in between or underneath those pins. So if you do that at this point it's just a little bit easier. So I'll do it on the other side, just pull the chin strap and let the leg go underneath that pin. We call them rivets because they're just pushing. Now if you have any trouble getting them in there just take a normal flat headed screwdriver and again pulling the the liner, or sorry, pulling the shell away from the liner, you can just help that in by pushing on the leg with the end of your screwdriver. But that's all nicely in position now. So once it's in position, we're making sure the slots in the visor line up with the pins on the inside, which I can see here they do, but you'll struggle to see. And then with it flat on the desk or on your table, just push down and it flips into position. So that's all nicely as it should be. And to get the movement right, it, it generally needs a little bit of time to sort of bed in. So if you move it up and down two or three times, the action should be nice and smooth. Um, and just in case you're wondering about any other things on the helmet that you might have. I've not got a harness in this so I can't show you how that adjusts but the 
vent covers if you wanted to change those. The easiest way to do that is to take your finger, put it underneath the end there and just pull slightly to the side and then it will all come out. And to put it back in, just take the, the two tangs on the inside, one at the front and one at the back, line them up with the corresponding slots. And it just snaps into place. And with the air defenders, this is a, a really high SNR um, MSA sword in left right. I don't expect many people would wear these to be honest, but all you need to do to get these in and out is pull and out it comes. This is quite an old helmet, so it's a little bit slacker than a new one would be. But once you've done it a few times, they do just pop in and out quite quite easily. Um, with these, if you ever have need, if you ever break one of the back plates, which is this part here, what we call the back plate, it's got the, the slot in to take the um, flip up forestry visor or polycarbonate visor, if you ever need to change them. Getting them out is a bit of a black art, so if you, if you break it, that's the easiest way to get it off to be honest, but in fact, I'm not even going to attempt to take that out, I'm just going to cut it. There's a way to do it, but to be honest, I just normally get a pair of snippers and clip them off if I have to. If you need to put a new one on, I'll go and pick one up. If you order these, they come in pairs. So the easiest way to do it, pull the ear defender as far away from it as you can and sort of have it in its up position as if it's not clamping on your head. Take the ear defender and show you this. It, there's a disc around the bottom there, around the bottom of the ear defender arm that fits underneath that fits underneath this shoulder there's a shoulder in there that holds it in position and then underneath this part that springs is what gives it its tension and keeps it in position when it's in the helmet so what you need to do is get that disc underneath the shoulder in the back plate so once you've got it sort of roughly there you push that spring away from you a little bit and it just snap into position and once it's in just whirl it a couple of times make sure it's in the right place and that's done and again this should be probably a little bit tighter than the one I took out with it being a new one so, so start off putting it in sideways like so and rotate it in and that's it it's home I hope that helps you um, I may improve this if I get complaints, but good luck anyway.